the chest and the abdomen. I will be working to do Swedish techniques, although over the years practicing with other techniques involved, it's hard to go back to just that basic. And what I do is go underneath the clavicle. Men and women are pretty close to the same kind of work that you do. I work basically the same areas with men as women and women the same. I don't go over a lot of the breast area. Although in lymphatic work we do we can drain the breasts if there's any kind of lumps in there. Sometimes they just are full lymph nodes. And with men it's the same, you just stay away from the nipple area getting into the pectoral muscle, going underneath there. The dogs across the street are going to be more... (laughs) There's these little yappy dogs that live across the street, so... And then you can also work down into the ribs here. Now with men it's a little easier to get to some of these ribs. I basically just go between the ribs themselves. There's not really a whole lot of stuff to do unless you're going into the lung area and draining it or working with some kind of structure that direction. But with Swedish there's just really not a lot you can do in that the muscles are flat or mostly intercostal muscles. The muscles that lay on top of the ribs are, are basically pretty flat except for right up in here at the pectoralis area. And then The abdomen, with basic Swedish work, is just following the alimentary tract, the intestinal tract, and working in a clockwise direction. Use a little vibration around. And then I work the opposite direction, only to open up this area, getting underneath and under. I actually get underneath the uh, ascending and descending colon, and then working into the small intestinal area. working up into the liver. You can tell immediately the condition of the liver when you know what to feel for. A healthy liver is going to be soft and pliable and a liver that's overworked is going to be a little harder. And then you have another condition that is like a fatty liver. And I've found that in people that are seriously heavy drinkers The liver gets very fatty, and it's very obvious when it is real fatty. Of course, that's not a good condition for the liver to be in. And then working up through these uh, muscles of the stomach as well, because this is more of a massage to dress muscles, the abdominal muscles.
But I work so much into the organ structure that it's it's challenging me a little bit to stay in the muscle. Along the ribs there. And there we have a basic Swedish work on the abdomen and chest. <laughs>